Andrew, come. Come. Good boy, Range. Free dog, buddy. down closer. <laughs> so we've got terrible diarrhea because he was completely stressed out in the car. First time in the in the van with me, Stephanie driving, really stressed him out and he just he just blew water out of his butt. Aww. <laughs> oh, Aww. There you go. That's the first time. That is the first time. First time. He said, Hey, I like you too. Good boy, buddy. That's a good moment. That's a good moment. Oh. Out. Why are you so far? Come closer. Okay. Steph, can you come closer? Yeah.
<laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> toss on the ball this way a little bit, Steph. Not too far. Hmm? Just toss it that way. Go get it. That was exciting. It's already <laughs> tired. It's getting hot. Come on, Ranger. Let's go. Let's right, see how he does with his people. Come on, bud. Ranger, come. Good boy. Good. Good. So I thought I would, I thought I would use the e collar there, but I didn't have to. That was that was very good. Good. Come on, bud. Ranger, come. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Come on. So, just so you know, the time before when he was going towards the people, I thought I'd call him, he wouldn't respond, and I would tap, tap to reinforce the recall. But I didn't have to, he turned around and came. So just there, I don't even remember. Did I tell him to come or not? Mm -hmm. Okay, there I just, after he didn't come, I went tap, tap, and he turned and, and turned around. That's it. So now this is the first time we're in this atmosphere and I need him to know you have to follow this stuff. Come on, buddy. What do you got? He's tired too, it's hot. The car ride took a lot out of him. Now I'll let him see what he does. Ranger, come. Good boy. Good. So no e collar there, but I'm 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 ready to let him know you have to do. It. He does it. Come on, Ranger. Free dog. Let's go. Ranger, come. Good boy. Good job. Let's go. Good. So there I did tap the e-collar. Took too long. When I call you, you have to come, right? So it's Ranger. Come. He doesn't come. Boom. Now the e-collar is just there if I have to reinforce something I need him to do. That's it, right? Uh, so the next question will be, Next question will be, what level is he on? That's what everybody knows. The dog dictates the level, guys. It doesn't matter. He's on a 15, but he responds very well to it because he's been prepped for that moment, right? So I don't have to worry about going much higher than that. If I did, I would. It's not a big, doesn't matter. I'll use whatever level works to get him back to me. Watch him, babe. Ranger, come. Good boy, buddy. Yes! He won't take food now, but I'll offer it to him. Oh, he did take food. Okay, good. I figured he'd be too stressed to take food. The, the car ride really got him good. He didn't like being in the back of that van with me, even though I sat with him. But the, he had really bad diarrhea when we got here. Good job, pal. All right, come on, free dog. Let's go. Come on, Ranger. Ranger, come. Good boy, let's go. Come on, come. Good. Yes. So there I went higher. I let him know you can't do this more than once. Okay, I gave him a little chance. So I went up to a 22 on the e-collar. The only reason I'm given the levels is because people are going to ask. They're going to want to know. So 
and particularly because of all the people that go out and they're starting to use the e-collar on the 70s and the 80s and I talk to those people every day because that's what they've been taught so you guys have seen this dog from the start right I'm not worried about him right now um, I'm very comfortable I can't let him go up to anyone because he'll scare the Jesus here we go come on Ranger let's go see the action let's go Watch the dog go. Dog parks, you gotta love it. So I'll just back off and give him plenty of line, let him decide what he wants to do. If he wants to go over there, I'll keep an eye on him and I'll only let him go so far. Free dog, pal. Come on. Go on. What are you doing? You tired? Come here, Ranger. Come. Yes. Good boy. Good job, pal. Good job. Good job, buddy. So, we're going to get a ton of questions because of the e-collar stuff, right? Always do. You would think this day and age, like, there's so much information out there from so many people, but it, it gets confusing to a lot of people, I get it. Without the use of the tool, without the proper use of the tool, you're always going to limit Ranger's ability to be able to get off the leash and run. No dog deserves to be attached to a leash. I don't care how long the leash is all the time, they have to run. To be truly fulfilled, these dogs have to get out and explore and be a dog and sniff and run. You know, I mean, it just you have to give that to them, and without that tool, there's no other way to communicate with them off leash. So now I did very little e-collar work with him, very, very little. I just needed him to learn and understand what it was and how it worked. That was it. The same way I teach every other dog, I've shown it a thousand times, right? So now when we come here, the e-collar is there only if we need it, and this is the first time we're out in public in a place like this. So, I don't know if I've used it two times or three times. If I come here two or three days, if I use it tomorrow, it'd probably be the last time I have to use it at all. And you see, I don't have to blast the dog to get him to respond, right? When he takes too long, hey buddy, you gotta, you gotta come back here. So powerful, so effective, and it gives the dog that freedom. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? I know it's hot, pal. I know it's hot. You don't even want to play anymore, do you? Come on. You don't want to play anymore? Are you done? Are you done? Are you done? <laughs> That's it. It's hot. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's hot. It's hot. So this is the first time we're out like this, right? This is the first day. So now you saw I built the foundation by building him up. I let him be crazy. It was all done through play, right? Everything was through building the dog, making him feel good, making him trust me, having that relationship so that when I do need to tell him, hey, knock the shit off, there's meaning behind it. It means something to him now because I'm his buddy and he trusts me. From there, I started going strictly foundational stuff with the leash, right? Leash food, basic obedience, building that foundation, now teaching him how to be calm, teaching him, no, I don't like that, I like this, in a very calm fashion. I want him crazy, but he also has to know how to be calm, right? Now we start going to different places and proofing the things we've done. So today's day one from here, being so scared of the car, definitely stressed him out and it's hot and he's tired, so I won't keep him here for long, right? So right here, watch the dog. If I call him and he doesn't come, that's where I would follow up with the tap on the e-collar. Ranger, come! Yes! Good boy. So there's no e-collar there. Good job, buddy. Good. See, so now he no longer wants to play because he's hot and he's tired. But he'll take food, which that's what we'll use. If that's what motivates him now, if that's what he likes, I'm going to reward that behavior. Okay? Good job, buddy. Come on. You want to get going? Are you done? Are you done? You 
are all done. And then what I'll do from here, guys, is I'll up it. I'll come here during the week between five and six o'clock when the dog park is at its proudest. It's proudest. Is that, did I even say that grammatically correct? <laughs> when it's very crowded at the dog park. And then I'll push him a little more and I'll give him an opportunity to make the mistakes. I want him to make the mistakes with me while he's here. So when I fix them and I tell him I don't like that, that's what makes it easy for the owner. So when the owner has to tell him, hey, I don't like that, it's not the first time he's hearing that. He gets it. He's been shown those pictures before. And I know this is very boring. It's just me with my buddy here at the park. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> listen, Stephanie has not been a big fan of this dog because she was scared of him. What you saw today, him bringing her the ball and her loving on him, I hope you got that on camera. That's the first time that happened, guys. So every day I tried to make little strides with him so that in a realistic way, when he goes back home, the owner can keep progressing. That's the key, a realistic way, something the owner can do. So everything me and my family are doing together is to give him success when he leaves here. And you have to be realistic. That means the play is a huge thing, but so is the leash. So is food, so is obedience, so are rules inside the home, right? This dog, you don't give him rules inside the home, you don't stand a chance on controlling him outside of the home. And when I say rules, I don't mean he's stuck to a place board. He's not at all, right? He's just has to know, hey, you can't do that. I let him jump on me and bang me and we play. Well, you can't do that unless I ask you to do it because I can't, his owner is a lot smaller than me. He can't do that with her unless she asks for it. You know, you okay? <laughs> he's rolling on her. Show him, show him, show him. Gosh. I think he's pretty much done. All right, you can keep your, you can keep it on him. We'll just walk back to the other leaf. And just keep filming him in case he does anything cool. <laughs> Come on, Ranger. Let's go, buddy. everybody wind up liking you better <laughs> than So now, when we're leaving, I'll put him back on a six foot leash on his big, wide, flat collar. And as we're leaving, we'll see people on the way out. And if he gives me a reaction you don't like, I'm going to tell him no, and I'm going to give him a firm little pop. Hey, knock this shit off. You can't do that. You're better than that. You know you don't have to worry about this stuff anymore, okay? So this is long. This is boring. But every time I do something different and I don't film and people say we want to see the boring. This is not exciting, guys. But I knew people would be interested on how often I'm using the e-collar. If you're using the e-collar, with a dog you've been training for a while, all the time, unless you're talking like high level dogs in that type of a system, but I'm talking about pet dogs, right? You're most likely doing something very wrong because the usage of the e-collar with this dog, it'll be almost non-existent. All right, let's, let's, let's call him. Ranger, come. Go on, buddy. Yes, good job, pal. <laughs> See, so that's my goal. That's just me, is to use the e-collar as little as possible to have it there for when that's needed. Again, if he just stared at me just now or turned to go the other way, now I tap and he's like, okay, shit, I have to do this. I know what that means, right? But he's been taught, he's been taught. And the amount of e-collar work that we did is very, very little. I mean, very little, right? Because the training was done in many other ways. So by the time we add the e-collar to it, it's not an issue. All right, thanks guys, peace.